Hello everyone, my name is Carissa McComb and I feel like I just yelled at you, I'm so sorry. I get super duper excited when I start my videos, probably because I don't know how to start them all the time. I need to like get a proper intro, but then I feel like if I get a proper intro, it's just repetitive and boring. So in today's video, I am sharing a super duper, super duper, <laughs> Very generous, massive PR haul that I have been gifted. I've been gifted so much from Maybelline lately. Um, this is all of the products that they have gifted me. Like this, it, it's crazy. It's amazing. Basically, what happened is in February this year, I was in Bali for a collab with um, the Asia Collective, and I filmed some videos. You guys may have seen it. You may not have. And then a couple of months back now, probably maybe four months back now, Maybelline actually just reached out to me through email and they said they really loved my um, Bali vlogs and just wanted to give me some makeup. And then they kept on giving me some more makeup. So I was like, I should probably film a video just to say thank you because like it's so generous. Like look at this pile. This is like literally more makeup than I actually own in these boxes. Like I... At the moment, don't own that much makeup just because, I don't know, I find it, I don't know what's good anymore. Like, if you guys watch my videos, you'll know that I'm not a beauty channel. I very rarely wear makeup anymore just because I don't have it. And so I'm actually super excited to play with and try out all of this makeup. If you're interested in seeing, like, all of the things that Maybelline has gifted me, continue watching because I'm just going to share it all with you. And yeah, so the first box, which is this one here comes with made for all the color oh sensational six universal shades they're the shades the next one here oh my goodness what's wrong with my hands okay. anyway so it's the super stay ink crayon now i have already done a video trying on every single one of these video videos single one of these lipsticks um this is what they all look like if you're interested in seeing what they all look like on my lips and a first impression, I do have a video on my channel that you're very welcome to go back and suss out. So the next box, this massive one here. Let's do it like that so you guys can get it. So this one here, we've got oop, one little item that's fallen down a bit. Hold that up like that. This is like a brow box. So we have, so it's the Tattoo Brow in medium brown. So the next one is... Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. What is this? Okay, so it's like a, um, oh yeah. So it's like a little pencil thing that can go back down. And then we've got like a spoolie brush on the other end. So you can just like, I guess, tch -tch. yeah. See, not a makeup guru, beauty guru. Okay, so the next one here. <laughs> oh, this one, I'm so excited. I'm happy to do a video of this one because I feel like it's just going to be like either an epic fail for me or it's going to be epically amazing we'll find out but it's the tattoo brow gel tint which looks something like this and then it's got like the instructions on the side <laughs> i love how like slicked and greasy it looks when it's like on there and i think you kind of peel it off after but yeah i'm kind of curious how that would go so i feel like should i do a video of this or let me know should i not let me know if you don't care at all don't let me know and um, finally, the last thing from that box is Brow Satin Define and Feel Duo. So it looks like a thicker version of this. So I think that's what it is. And that one's in the color Dark Blonde. So it has, oh, okay, sorry, it's different. It has filling powder and then a defining pencil. Okay, so it's got like two stations. That makes sense. Yep. Another interesting product that I'll be trying later on. These have like honestly been like living See on that chest of drawers over there, that is Craig's chest of drawers. And I have like been taking up half of his, no Stevie, half of his wardrobe just so um I can store this. Cause I was like, oh, I'm going to be filming a video one day. And then one day never came and now it's been like four months. And I'm like, I should probably film that video. <laughs> anyway, so the final box, which is this massive one here. It's actually super duper heavy, has so much stuff in it. This is what, I'm just going to lift it up really quick and then show you every single item that's in it. So that's what it looks like. Okay, first item. I've already been using this one. I put it back in the box just for the purpose of the video and it's actually really good, but it's the Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. The only thing I actually don't like too much about it is it doesn't like, 
I don't know. I feel like it's not giving me enough at the same time. But then in saying that, I feel like I don't really need to be like soaking my face with spray. So I think the one that I was using prior to that kind of like saturated my face and I was getting so used to that. And then whereas I've gone to this and I'm like, it's a light misting spray and I'm not used to it. So yeah, I'm still doing that thing with my hands. Like, ugh. Okay, so the next thing in that massive package, I just so can't get over this. Like, I, like, massive shout out to Maybelline if you're watching this because you guys are actually unbelievable. Anyway, um, next one is the Maybelline Baby Lips and it's like a, what is it, 12 hour moisture SPF lip balm and that's gonna be amazing because I've just run out of my chapstick and, um, yeah. Not a fan of chapstick though. Does anyone else notice that they'll put it on their lips and then maybe an hour later their lips are completely dry again and it's like, has the lip balm itself done that to make me use it again and again? But yeah, also, how good is it that I finished a chapstick without losing it? Usually that never happens. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, <laughs> nothing new there. Um, okay, so the next product that I have in here is, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, so we've got normal to oily fit me poreless <coughs> fit me matte and poreless foundation and it is in classic ivory and that's amazing because i've actually currently got that now i'm trying to look behind the camera because that's where my makeup is and i'm pretty sure i'm like right near the bottom oh my gosh i've got dust up my nose <sighs> look oh. oh let's just move on <laughs> Okay, so I've got another Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Is that the same? Yep, same as the other one. And this one is in just ivory. So I've got two different shades. So that one's classic ivory. This one's just ivory. Honestly. Okay, so this one here, the ivory one, I think is a bit more pink tinged, whereas that one's more yellow based. Is that like cool and warm? Is that how you guys refer to it? I don't know. I feel like in saying like what I'm going to use with my logic right now, it's probably not how you look at it. But this is how my brain's going. I feel like because it's summer and I'm going to get like a bit pink from the sun, this one's actually going to be a bit more suited to me. Whereas the other one, like say I've got a, I don't know, like a fake tan going on when I'm not burnt, that one's going to work for me because my skin tone is very confusing. Like I've tried, I'm a bit burnt here, so do not judge by here, but like I've tried to kind of like use a pink undertone because i think i've been told in the past that i'm cool but then when i put it on i'm like no and then yellow it's like a simpsons head going on like my pale skin is it's its own thing at the moment next i have a concealer i had a mental blank just then like what is this I have a concealer in the shade fair which is also amazing because I'm going to show you how much I've got left on my other one. That one is like dead and then this one's that. One's in ivory which is the one I'm over and then this one's in fair. To me they look very similar. Same same but different. We need to get comfy again. Alright. Next thing we have. Oh my gosh. Okay here's another product I can give to someone else because I think I've already got this. Yes I do. So I have another tattoo brow in light brown. What shade is the other one that I have? I didn't even know I had a shade. Yeah, light brown. So I've got two light brown ones. Gonna give either one of these to someone else because I don't need to. That's just, I don't know. I feel like that's just wasteful and selfish. Like if I've got all these products to share with people, mains will share it with people. Although I don't have any friends. I'm gonna find some friends and then I can like buy their friendship with some freebies. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Craig's got some friends. Oh, no. Craig's sister's actually coming soon. I can give one to her. Yeah, see, I've got friends. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> I'm so depressed right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's a lie. Okay, the next product that I have is the Maybelline Master Contour Kit. And it's light to medium. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's really pretty. I am really bad when it comes to using bronzer. Like... At the moment, I've got the Benefit is that Hula in light, and that one's okay. But like prior to that, I was just using the normal Hula, and I'm like, why is my skin just a massive line here? It's because I'm pale. Like you cannot wear bronzer when you're this pale, and then expect it to not look like weird. Anyway, that looks like it's not too bad. Like it looks like it's a nice color. I like that pink. I probably won't use that um, highlight as highlight. I might use that as like a um, eyeshadow base. I can do that, right? I just need like makeup lessons. Someone teach me how to do my makeup because I'm looking at all this stuff right now and I'm like, can I use that as this? Anyway, so the next wing, the, the, the. I don't even know how to introduce the next product either. Like, I feel like I'm saying the next thing, next thing, next thing over and over and getting so repetitive. 
this is what I have in there after the other one. <laughs> that was that was worse. I'm just going back to the next thing. The next thing I have is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in light. Looks like that and that's really good because I'm using a what am I using I'm using like a bare minerals or something and that's like almost turn into dust like there's not much left of that one's life cycle left so it's good that I've got that um after that I've got the fit me blush in what shade like the blushes have shades what shade are you far or do oh nude nude I don't know it looks like this <laughs> and that's good I love blush like I don't know, I feel like fair skin, instead of using um, bronzer, contour, bronzer, whatever, I end up using um, blush just a bit more because I feel like it just contrasts a lot better with that pale albino skin going on. I have two, yeah, two eyeshadow palettes. Can you see them? I have to like go like that, otherwise if it's like that, it's like, can you see them? No, you can see my ring light. But we've got the burgundy bar. Those colors look really good. I, I love those kind of colors. Can you see? I'm wearing eyeshadow at the moment, guys. I don't know if you can notice that. And um, we've got the matte bar. The <laughs> matte bar. I think I'm going to be, like, pairing them together because these ones seem to be, like, glittery and these ones are matte. And I don't really like matte too much, so I feel like I'm just going to be doing, like, you know when you do that shading in your, like, eye socket? That's going to be my matte bit. And then my glitter, my party, is going to be all on my lid. I'm going to have a lid party. All right, so we're getting near the end here. Get excited. We have another lipstick. Toasted Truffle Matte Lipstick. I think that's a brown one. I haven't opened it and it's got those seals on it. Looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, next I've got, one's a highlighter, one's a bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bronzer first. It's the City Bronzer. City Bronzer, I said that really weird, didn't I? City Bronzer in Light Cool. Okay, Light Cool, that sounds like it could be my skin tone. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe, possibly. It's very pretty, it's very shiny. And um, yeah, the highlighter that's next, we've got the Master Chrome Metallic in Molten Gold. I wanna open this. I'm gonna open this because I don't know, I just... Okay, I'm a sucker for blush and highlighters. Let me in. Oh my gosh. Ah, there we go. I think I did it. If I didn't. Ah, okay. Ooh, see, look how pretty that is. Can you see that? Look at it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like... Ooh, that. Love it. Let's see what this looks like. You ready? Is this what beauty gurus do? Am I a beauty guru? Did that work? What do I do now? Like, do I show you like this? Ooh, fancy. That is actually really gold. Look at that. Imagine if that was on my face. Like, I would be like the Tin Man. Amazing. Okay, so final product. What are you? Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. Lashes look fuller and thicker in four weeks. Going by that description, I don't think it's mascara. I think it's something I apply to my lashes and it thickens them up in four weeks. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, um, and that is everything. Like, 100% repeating myself when I say this. So grateful. Maybelline have been super duper generous. So, like I said again, I need to start, like, getting involved in my makeup. Because they're so pretty. Like, look at all those glittery things. This one here is just, like, shimmering in the sun. Like, oh, amazing. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I am done. Have an awesome day, night, morning, whatever time it may be, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time, unless you decide to not watch me next time. Then, you know, that's how life goes. But until next time, guys, goodbye.